I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the Naperville Park District Board of Commissioners. Today is March 14th, 2013. It's 7 p.m. I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Jackie, take the roll. President Young. Here. Vice President Janner. Here. Commissioner Egan. Present. Commissioner Heidi. Here. Commissioner Ori. Here. Commissioner Riley. Here. Commissioner Todd. Here. At this time, the board will receive public comment. Jackie, has anyone signed up to speak? There's no one signed up. Moving on to updates and reports. The Riverwalk Commission update. Uh, Commissioner Heidi. Thank you, President Young. The Riverwalk committee met yesterday and I must say that in my two years on the commission or committee I don't think I remember a busier time in terms of agenda items and major developments so I'll stick to the highlights first is the budget the capital budget is 47 percent consumed and the operating budget is 62 percent consumed please recall that the commission's fiscal year ends soon the property at 420 South Washington Street has been raised the next step is to be determined and is to be based largely on the results of environmental studies. The concept of the Riverwalk Southern Extension met with favor at the first community engagement meeting and the Commission will commence a thorough review of the concept and its feasibility in light of the numerous comments and suggestions that were received at the meeting. A draft of the amendment to the Riverwalk guidelines will then be prepared and presented to the City Council and Park Board. And finally, necessary capital expenditures as they relate to the extension will be cost estimated and prioritized. Lastly, the City Council has directed staff to prepare ordinances relative to the Water Street project. Although significant hurdles remain to be cleared before the project can proceed, the Riverwalk Commission takes a keen interest in this project and will be closely watching its development. Thank you. Moving on to the Finance Committee update, Commissioner Riley. Thank you, President Young. The Finance Committee met on uh, February 22nd. There were no members of the public present at the meeting. Uh, Tom Sawyer of Sawyer Faldudo presented the December 31st, 2012 Investment Performance Report. As of 12-31-2012, the portfolio value totaled $5,040,405 with a year-to-date gross return of 1.12%. For the same time period, the Barclays one to three year treasury index used for a fixed income benchmark returned 0.92%. The net account return since inception, which was June 30th, uh, 2011, as of December 31st, 2012, was 1.41% compared to the Barclays one to three year treasury index for the same period at 0.75%. The committee requested that uh, Tom attend the March 28th board meeting to present the annual investment performance report to the full board. Staff presented the year-end year -end unaudited financial results for all district operating funds. Ending balances at 1231-2012 remain healthy and exceed the target reserve balances as defined in the district's fund balance policy. The committee discussed the district's ability to move reserve funds that are unrestricted and over the policy target amounts from the general and recreation funds to the capital department to fund improvements. Highlights of the draft three-year financial plan were presented to the committee. Financial results of the three major funds, general, recreation, and golf, were reviewed. The golf committee was to review the plan at the February 25th meeting, followed up with an electronic version being sent to all board members. The plan was presented to the full board at the February 28th meeting with final approval scheduled for this evening's meeting. The next meeting of the Finance Committee will be held April 17th at 10.30 a.m. in the Administration Building. Thank you. The next update is the Legislative Committee update. Commissioner Heidi. Thank you, President Young. The new legislative session in Springfield produced a multitude of legislation that could potentially affect park districts in Illinois, including the Naperville Park District, and the Legislative Committee carefully reviewed each bill. 
Of course, the majority of these bills have not made it out of committee, but we need to be proactive and establish priorities. The potential legislation on which we've decided to focus includes House Bill 89, which amends PTEL and could affect our ability to fund park district operations. House Bill 1227, which limits our ability to hold more than 5% retainage on contractor payments. And House Bill 2364, which amends the Illinois Prevailing Wage Act in what we view as a very positive manner. We will be communicating with our legislators regarding these bills, and we are also planning a visit to Springfield to express our earnestness. Thank you. Moving on to Parks and Recreation Committee update. Commissioner Todd. Um, the latest meeting of the Parks and Recreation Committee was February 20th. Uh, most of the items discussed at the Parks and Rec Committee were already presented to the board at the last workshop. So. Among the items we discussed were an amendment to the Central Park Agreement to handle the maintenance for the new washrooms. This item's on the consent agenda, agenda for approval tonight. Uh, ball field improvements for DuPage River Sports Complex. Uh, res resurfacing of the zero depth area of Centennial Beach. This item's also on the consent agenda for approval tonight. Uh, the addition of a bronze sculpture to the Riverwalk Veterans Plaza. This item's also part of consent agenda and to grant an easement along the edge of Crayler Park for uh, work the city needs to do. And there's a letter of intent for this work on the consent agenda tonight also. Additionally, we reviewed the Knock Knowles Nature Center project, talked about how future program registrations will be handled for the soccer programs. We also discussed platform tennis, decided to gather information from folks who are interested in this sport before we make further decisions. Next is the Golf Committee update. Commissioner Egan. Thank you. Golf Committee met on February 25th. Um, we discussed our favorite subject, golf carts, with much analysis. That's on the agenda for tonight. We also reviewed the three-year plan. Uh, Ed shared the season reserve tee times. We have 52 foursomes this year. Um, we're looking at improving food service. Now, one might ask who can improve a hot dog because it's already perfect, but as long as you don't put ketchup on it, you're fine. Uh, we reviewed the end of season golf survey. A new website has launched, so everybody should run out to golfnaperville.org and see our latest product. Our next meeting is this Monday, March 18th at 7.30 a.m. at Springbrook, so everybody's welcome to come out. And while I could go on, I'm pretty excited to hear your update, President Young, so I'll end my report here. And I'll start mine. Well, it doesn't feel much like spring today, does it? But I understand that soon the snowflakes will give way to bulbs. In fact, the first day of spring is Wednesday, March 20th. Rest assured, however, that the park staff is already gearing up for spring. North staff is busy removing buckthorn and completing gypsy moth inspections. They're pruning oaks, dogwoods, and ornamental trees in various parks. And you'll find the South Parks busy pruning at Frontier Sports Complex and Monarch Park. You may have received a postcard in the mail notifying you of a controlled burn by the park district in your area. Management of your parks by using controlled burns manage weed and brush and stimulates the growth of our area's natural vegetation. Trained crews will supervise this process and the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency and Naperville Fire Department issues an annual permit for this activity. The off-season work performed by our parks department is really outstanding and plants the seed, if you will, for beautifully maintained parks all year long. In fact, our standards are recognized by our peer park districts as having best practices. Our very own director of parks, Kevin Finnegan, has presented at national and state parks and recreation conferences and has authored articles on park maintenance best practices. And these articles can be found on our website. So thank you to Kevin and his staff for starting early and keeping our parks beautiful. Executive Director McGurk. Thank you, President Young. Uh, several things to talk about here. Um, as uh, Commissioner Todd, I'm sorry, Commissioner Egan uh, mentioned, um, I'm pleased to announce that just this week we launched a brand new website for Springbrook and Neighborbrook golf courses. The site, which is launching in time for golf season, will provide a much better online experience for our golfers. However, the most notable aspect of this change is that we now have one website instead of two. Please check out our new site at www.golfnaperville.org and let us know what you think. Also, with the 2013 golf season uh, on the horizon, 
Provided the weather cooperates, I want to let our golfers know that we are holding our green fees steady for 2013. I hope that our golfers have the opportunity to enjoy playing at both of our courses and wish all of you a successful season. Uh, last November, the Park District experienced some capacity issues with regard to online registration for the 2013 Naperville Youth Soccer Season. As a result, and to reduce the number of simultaneous registrations, we will be implementing separate registration dates for boys and girls soccer for the fall. Registration for the fall season will take place on April 30th and May 1st, respectively. Although we hope that this splitting of the registration by gender will remedy the problem, we are uncertain that this will correct the issue for the long term. We are continuing to work with our software provider to remedy the uh, system issues. As an alternative to online registration, individuals may elect uh, to mail in or drop off a paper form to be input by the Park District staff in the order they are received. Our ultimate goal is to make the registration process as quick and easy as possible, and we appreciate everybody's patience. Um, just a side note on that, uh, staff is moving forward, and I would, um, it's a better than 50-50 chance that we will bring, be bringing something to the board later this year to completely change our software vendor to a different one uh, based on some of the issues we've had with this one, based on the fact that the current one that we are with uh, told us that they are phasing out, I believe, within three years, will no longer service any aspect of it, so we have to change no matter what. And uh, quite honestly, um, I'm pretty happy that we're going to change. On a related note, beginning the summer program registration season, we will begin taking registrations online via hard copy uh, form uh, the Monday after the program uh, delivery guide begins. With program delivery uh, scheduled to begin on Thursday, April 18th, this would mean that registration would become available on Monday, April 22nd. We hope that by shortening this waiting period, this will improve the registration process for our residents. Got spring break right around the corner and the Easter holiday just a couple weeks um, from today. I wanted to provide a reminder about our spring break camps and events. We have a wide variety of sports, arts, technology camps that begin on March 25th for kids ages 3 through 17. Registration is currently in progress. Additionally, we have our flashlight egg hunt and spring egg extravaganza events. And don't forget about the annual JC's egg hunt on Saturday, March 30th. Information on all these programs and events can be found on our website. A couple uh, other things of note, uh, and you'll be seeing more publicity on this. We're beginning a Caroline lighting, Carolan lighting program. In fact, tomorrow you will see the Caroline lit up in green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, the more information will be uh, put out to the public, and certainly uh, we will be celebrating many of the different holidays and events. I know that um, in April we will be lighting it up blue for the uh, autism, uh, autism, I think it's autism month, but we'll be doing it for just a couple weeks, I believe. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's pretty neat. And then finally, as Commissioner Todd had mentioned about the Nature Center, that move is continuing to move along nicely. We had a great meeting with Brooke McDonald and his staff. Uh, there is a lot of synergies that we see there. Uh, Brooke is gonna be instrumental in helping us uh, select our naturalist position down there. And um, we talked about staffing and some of the volunteer opportunities they can help provide us. Uh, this, is, this couldn't come at a better time and a better place uh, for the community, so I'm pretty excited, and I know um, this is right up Brooks Alley. Brooke mastered, and I think, uh, I think his master's degree is in nature centers, if there's such a thing, but so he's, he's, he's giddy when we talk about this. So um, great meeting, and uh, this is going to be a great amenity for the uh, community. That's all I have. Thank you. Next is the approval of the treasurer's report. Move to approve the January 2013 Treasurer's Report. Second. There's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Jackie, take the roll. Vice President Janner? Yes. Commissioner Riley? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. Commissioner Ori? Aye. Commissioner Todd? Yes. President Young? Yes. Next is the consent agenda. Are there any items to be removed from the consent agenda? Move to accept consent, consent agenda items A through M. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? Jackie, take the roll. Vice President Janner? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. Commissioner Ori? Aye. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Young? Yes. Move to approve consent agenda as accepted. Second. There's a motion and a second. This is a voice vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. 
I'd like to tell you about our future meetings. Uh, the next regular meeting will be March 28th at 6 p.m. at the South Maintenance Facility on Book Road. In April, our first meeting will be April 11th at 7 p.m. here in Council Chambers. And then the second meeting in April will be April 25th at 6 p.m. at the South Maintenance Facility. Move to adjourn to executive session to discuss land acquisition under 2C5 of the Open Meetings Act. Second. I'm sorry, who seconded that? Second. Oh, thanks. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? Jackie, take the roll. Vice President Janner? Yes. Commissioner Todd? Yes. Commissioner Egan? Yes. Commissioner Heidi? Yes. Commissioner Ori? Aye. Commissioner Riley? Yes. President Young? Yes.